What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna answer the question of should you learn how to code, and we're gonna do so by covering three reasons for which you should learn how to code. Disclaimer, two of these reasons are gonna be not super contestable. I think most people are gonna agree with me on these two reasons, but the third reason is gonna be a little bit controversial. It's actually something that some people give as an anti-reason to learn how to code. In other words, some people say, don't learn how to code for that reason. But I disagree, and I'm gonna tell you why in a few minutes. And on that note, please resist the urge, resist the temptation of scrolling down to the comments to find that one comment that summarizes the entire video. Resist it, I know you want to, you wanna to listen to this lispy voice. I add a lot of nuance in the video. Resist the temptation, and in fact, if you do resist it, comment down below after you're done with the video, Clement, I resisted, and I will give you a heart. Okay, maybe I won't give a heart to everybody, but I'll try. Anyway, let's dive into the three reasons. The first reason for which you should learn how to code. This one is not super controversial. Basically, if you're someone who loves to build stuff, you've got a lot of ideas that you wanna turn into a reality, you've got an entrepreneurial spirit, you're looking for a skill that'll empower you the most to do all of these things, well, that skill, my friends, is coding. I've said it before, I will continue saying it, I will shout it from rooftops all over the world, coding is the most empowering skill of the 21st century, it is the skill to know if you like building stuff, if you wanna feel empowered, if you wanna maximize your ability to create stuff. If I had never learned how to code, I don't think I would've been able to build my company, Algo Expert. and no, this is not the plug for Algo Expert. the main plug is coming a bit later in this video, stay tuned for that, this is kind of like a pre-plug, but the point is, coding is a super empowering skill to have, you should learn it if you're the type of person who wants to build stuff. That's reason number one, not super controversial. I think most of you agree with me on that one. Reason number two, for this one, I'm gonna share a story. Back when I was in college, I didn't know how to code back then, I hadn't started learning how to code, and I really didn't like most of the work that I did. I wasn't a fan of doing math problems. They were fun here and there, but overall they were kind of annoying and dull. I wasn't a fan of research, I wasn't a fan of business case studies. Most of the work that I was doing, I just wasn't a fan of. And it was very discouraging because I was someone who didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, and I seemingly didn't like doing anything. Then I discovered discovered video editing, and I realized that I really enjoyed video editing. I didn't enjoy video filming, like for instance what I'm doing right now. I didn't enjoy it that much. I didn't like the idea of having a lot of equipment, having to go outside or interact with people, setting up all your shots, having to check your camera. having to set your camera, having to check your shots, having to go back home and seeing on your computer a shot that was like out of focus or that the shot wasn't good. I didn't really like that long and tedious process, but I really did like the video editing process. I liked the fact that I could sit at my computer for hours upon hours on end and to really edit stuff out until something was perfect, to really see the fruits of my labor. I really enjoyed that. That was one of the first skills or activities that I discovered that I I was like, whoa, I enjoy doing this. And then I discovered coding after college. And coding is actually very similar to video editing from that point of view. In fact, I would even argue that it takes it to another level. What I absolutely love about coding is that you can spend three, six, 12 hours even at your computer working on something, getting immediate feedback for your work. You see the fruits of your labor immediately. For example, if you're working on a website in front-end development, you will immediately see that website start to take shape. Or if you're working on an API, you will immediately see that API start to work. If you're doing coding interview preparation, you will immediately see whether or not your code passes test cases. At least if you're using my company, AlgoExpert.io, and you use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. That's the main plug for AlgoExpert. Oh, and if you're preparing for your systems design interviews, check out SystemsExpert.io. But the point is, you get that immediate feedback you get that instant gratification. It's really an 
an awesome feeling. I absolutely fell in love with it. And so reason number two to learn how to code is if you're someone who really likes that type of immediate feedback, you love the idea of being able to spend hours on something and seeing your work take shape over and over and over again, or rather incrementally, then coding is for you. That was reason number two. Once again, not super contestable. I'm sure that most of you agree with it. But now we get to reason number three. The controversial reason, the reason that you've all been waiting for. And that reason is, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. You see, this is what you're missing out on if you scroll to the comments directly to see the summary. These are the nuances that I was talking about. Look at all this texture, this richness in content and in delivery. This is what you're missing out on. And by the way, if you're that person who is going to post that comment that summarizes everything, you should put a little star on the third point, on the third reason that I'm about to share, and say you're missing out on a very rich and textured content, and go to that timestamp, this timestamp, to see this content to appreciate it in its full beauty. Resist the temptation. For those of you who did resist the temptation though, you are really getting the full package right now. Okay, reason number three, you should learn how to code if you're someone who wants to make good money. There, I said it. I know that now a ton of you are gonna be like, no, that's a bad reason to learn how to code. You shouldn't get into coding only if you wanna make money. And this is, by the way, something that people say about all sorts of professions, even take YouTubers, for instance. You shouldn't start to post YouTube videos if your only intention is to make money. And there's some truth to all of these things because it's the idea of not setting yourself up for disappointment, not setting too high of expectations. However, I think that in the context Context of coding and software engineering, this does not apply. The truth is, there is perhaps no better profession, or rather no higher paying profession than software engineering in this day and age today. At the very least, at the entry level, meaning your first job out of high school or out of college, coding is probably the best job, the highest paying job that you can get. If you can land a software engineering job at a Google or at a Facebook straight out of college in a city like New York City, you can make close to $200,000 in total compensation. I don't think that there's any other profession out there, or there are very few other professions out there that rival this, especially again at that level, at the level of entry level, straight out of college, no real need for work experience, no need to go to graduate school, no need to do a PhD or residency for 10 years, no, straight out of college. And by the way, for those of you who are about to say, well, wait a second, you're only talking about the highest paying companies, you know, Google, blah, blah, blah. No, even the companies that pay on the lower end of the software engineering compensation spectrum are still paying way more than most other professions. In New York City, for instance, I think that at the entry level, the lower end of the salary spectrum for software engineering is probably around $70,000 per year, I would say, even probably $80,000. And that's still like double what the average salary for new grads is in New York City. Most other professions will not pay you that much. Now, by the way, I realize that here maybe I'm also talking specifically about the US. I realize that this may be different in other parts of the world, especially I think in Europe. Some countries in Europe have slight differences with software engineering salaries, especially the UK. I know that London is notorious for paying a little bit less compared to cities with similar cost of living like New York or San Francisco. But still, even in Europe, in a bunch of other countries at least, the software engineering salaries are very high. Software engineering is a good profession or a great profession if you wanna make money. There's nothing wrong with wanting to make a decent amount of money, especially if you're the kind of person who doesn't really know what they wanna do with their lives. If you're someone who doesn't really have a particular passion or calling, you're not sure what you wanna do, then optimizing for money is probably a good idea. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't think you should be shamed for wanting to make good money straight out of college. And software engineering happens to be a great profession to do that. And coding, in turn, prepares you for software engineering. I started to learn how to code because of a combination of reasons one and three. Reason one, because I had a lot of entrepreneurship ideas, I wanted to build my ideas, and coding seemed like the right thing that would allow me to do that. And then reason number three, because when I graduated from college, I was seeing some of my friends, especially my co-founder on Algo Expert, Antoine, he had graduated with a CS 
has a degree, and I was seeing him making six figures in the Bay Area at a small startup. He wasn't at Uber back then, it was a smaller startup, and I was looking at jobs in New York City that would pay me something like 40K a year, and I was like, wait a second, why, why is there this discrepancy? Like, he and I, by all accounts and measures, were very similar individuals, similar grades, similar performance in high school, in college, I'd known him all my life, and I was like, why is he making six figures plus, and I'm looking at jobs that would give me less than half of that. And I was thinking, I guess I'm just in the wrong field. I picked the wrong fucking field. And so that's why I started to learn how to code. Then I discovered reason number two. I realized, wait a second, I really love this. I love this field. I love this thing. That instant feedback, super fun. And I haven't looked back. Now it, everything about it is just amazing. I love everything about it. And I'm sure we could find even other reasons for which you would want to learn how to code because afterwards there's also the thing of continuous learning. You're always learning new tools. There so many different domains in coding that you can dip your fingers in, front end, back end, infrastructure, there's so much stuff. Coding is amazing. Seriously, learn how to code. I hope that my three reasons helped convince you, or if you're already coding, if you're watching this video, you might already be coding, but maybe you can relate. Maybe you started to code because of one of these three reasons or a combination of them. Let me know if you did in the comments below. If you resisted scrolling down to the comments until now, write in the comments. Clement, I resisted, and I'll try to give you a heart. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.